In this quick video, I want to show you what the maximum amount of weight in ounces one forever stamp, U.S. forever postage stamp, will get you per letter. And what's the maximum amount of weight? What's the maximum dimensions, length times width times height? And how much it'll cost per additional ounce? Well, as we all know, one stamp right now in the U.S., 2022-2023, is 60 cents. And of course, it'll continue to go up. Well, the quick answer is one ounce. So one stamp will cover me one ounce. Now on the scale here, it shows that I'm 1.1 ounce. So unfortunately, I would have to add another stamp, which is another 60 cents. So that'd be like a dollar twenty for my letter to ship out. Now you might say, well, why do I want to spend that additional money? Why well, don't want to wait through a USPS line just to save me, you know, 50, 60 cents, whatever. And I don't want to go to stamps.com. So what's the cost per additional ounce? So let's say if I want to be technical about it, as of 2023, it's 24 cents per additional ounce. So one stamp will cover me to one ounce. And then if it's two ounces, then it would be uh, 60 cents plus 24 cents, right? So that would actually, two stamps would actually get me to about three ounces, right? Because you got the 60, you got the one ounce uh, per 60 cents. And then 24 cents additional ounce, so that would get me to two stamps would still get me to three ounces. If it goes higher, then I would just add another stamp. Okay, what's the total dimensions that a letter can be that would cover one stamp? It cannot be greater than six inches and one eighth. So six inches and one eighth inches high, and a total of eleven and a half inches long. That's almost a foot, and it can't be thicker then a quarter of an inch, that's one-fourth of an inch. And so as long as it's within that dimension and that weight. Now, it's very important with a one-fourth of an inch that it's not thicker than that, and you're not able to put like little items in it, like if you're shipping by a stamp. Like let's say you had like a little small screwdriver, or if you had like a little small tool or keepsake or some item, like I have in this one. So as you can see, this item here, I couldn't ship just using stamps. So it actually, I could still ship first class because it's three ounces, but I can't ship with stamps. And the reason is, is because these stamp letters go through machines because they don't have tracking and it's quick and they spit them out real quick. Well, if you have an item in it, let's say I had like a little small metal thing or an item in it, what's going to happen is it's going to go over, go under that machine and it's going to break and tear and rip that item out and you'll lose the item whatever's in your letter. So I know a lot of people would want to ship something, you know, cheaply if it's a little small item. The unfortunate thing about it is the stamps it will ruin the the letter and it just won't get to your to your um friend or family member or customer. So unfortunately you would have to go through first class package. In first class package, as we all know now, anything under 4 ounces is going to cost uh, around four to five bucks, depending on how you ship it. But four or five bucks first class for an item uh, ship package. And as we all know, first class goes up to uh, 16 ounces, which is a pound. Anything over a pound is considered priority mail, so you have to either ship it by priority mail package or flat rate or something, and that's a lot more expensive. All right, I hope I helped you with this um, with this with this video and make sure you subscribe to me. Thanks a lot.